Hi, I'm Trevor from Physics This Week. Today I'd like to talk to you about an amazing weight loss program. In particular, it's the Physics Incline Weight Loss Program. So, I've got an ordinary scale here. If I step up on that, you can see that I'm just a little bit above, or a little bit below 190 pounds. If I put my scale on an incline, so with just a little bit of a slope there, and I hop back up on the scale, you can now see that I'm just under 185 pounds. So I just lost five pounds just like that. No other weight loss program can offer that type of results. Stick around and I'll tell you why. Okay, so let's see how this amazing diet plan works. Whenever you stand on a bathroom scale, you are essentially measuring the normal force between yourself and the floor. And in this context, normal actually means perpendicular. So this normal force is perpendicular to the floor, and it happens to be anti-parallel to the force of gravity. So if you take a look at Newton's second law, there are two forces acting, the normal force and the gravitational force. You are not accelerating anywhere, so your acceleration is zero, so that the net force is zero. When you take this into an algebra equation, the normal force is pointing in the positive upwards direction, the force of gravity is pointing in the negative downwards direction, and again the net force is equal to zero, so it turns out that the normal force is equal to the gravitational force. And again, this is if the floor is perfectly level. If we actually rotate the coordinate system, which is effectively what we're doing in this case by tilting the surface that the scale is sitting on, then we have to include the frictional force uh, so that we don't slide down the incline. If we did start to move, it would be in the downwards direction. So if you draw your free body diagram, of course it's got the gravitational force, the normal force, and the frictional force, but it's better to actually rotate those axes draw these forces in, and because FG is no longer along one of the coordinate system axes, then we break it into components so that the components actually are. Then we throw in the force of friction. Notice that the gravitational force did not change from when we rotated the coordinate system. The only thing that changed was the relative magnitude of the perpendicular and the parallel force uh, components. Now if we look at those components along the y direction, we've got the normal force, we've got the gravitational force, again they're anti-parallel to one another, but in this case when we look at Newton's second law, the sum of the forces in the y direction, we've again got the normal force and the gravitational force, and the normal force is in the positive direction, the gravitational component is in the downward direction, but again the net force in this direction is equal to zero because we're not floating up off of or sinking down into the inclined plane that we're looking at. So in this case the normal force and the, and the perpendicular component of the force of gravity are equal to each other. But if you look back to this triangle, this side, the perpendicular side, is adjacent to the angle, so we can write it as Fg cosine theta. Okay, this is exactly why I prefer to never say weight in a physics class. Outside of class, of course, everybody uses that in uh, standard uh, English. However, in a physics class, it's really the force of gravity. This scale thing is the normal force. Okay, now if we look at the behavior of this normal force, uh, which is actually the contact force between us and the floor, it is equal to the gravitational force times the cosine of theta, where theta is this angle down here. If we look at the behavior of the cosine function, notice that at zero angle it starts out strong and then slowly works its way down, actually kind of quickly works its way down to zero at 90 degrees. So if you were to do something silly, like try to stand on the wall over here, there is no normal component 
uh, to hold you against the wall, so you are going to fall down. But at any other angle, you're just going to get a normal force that is less than the gravitational force. That's why whenever you stand on a nice level surface, you get one weight or one reading on the scale, which is your normal force, that is different than using the same scale on an incline, in which case it looks like you lose several pounds. The taller the angle is, the bigger the angle is, the smaller that cosine function is, and the more weight that you would lose. Okay, so don't try this at home. Actually, go ahead and try this at home, but realize that you won't actually lose any weight. In that case, you would have to lose mass. What you are losing is a bit of contact force with the ground. This has been Trevor from Physics This Week. See you again in the future.